All right, today's lesson is on section 10.6. Uh, it's pretty much a continuation of 10.5 with like one more thing thrown in. So it's absolute values of products in open sentences. So absolute values of products in open sentences, and again, I'll just change that to in uh, inequalities. Qualities. Um, so last time on the videos for 10.5, I talked to you about the two different techniques in um, solving absolute values in open sentences. And the first one I told you had to do with making an and or an or statement and showing the boundaries and then solving for the variable. The second one we talked about um, saying, talking about distances and the distance between x and the thing, um, you know, is less than or greater than some number. Um, I find that the second technique I talked about last time makes this section way more complicated than it needs to be. Um, so I recommend using the first technique. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, so let's do an example number one. Uh, it says 2x plus 1, absolute value of 2x plus 1 equals 5. Um, using the first technique I showed you, um, all you do is, in this case, we have an OR statement, 2x plus 1, notice I'm removing the absolute value, equals 5, or 2x plus 1 equals negative 5, because that's what the absolute value does. It says, well, if something was negative, make it positive. So 2x plus 1 could have equaled negative 5, but those absolute values are making it positive. Um, so on the left side, if we subtract 1, we get this, and then we can divide by 2, and we get this. On the right, uh, on the right of the OR statement, we can subtract one. And what's going on here? Some technical difficulties. Okay, we're back online. So we can subtract one and get negative six. Divide by two, get negative three. And again, we are graphing these. So we have a two and a negative three. Maybe we have a zero in there somewhere. And the graph of that looks like this. Um, pretty simple using the first technique I showed you last time. Um, moving on, if I had one that looked like um, 3k minus 2, so the absolute value of 3k minus 2 is less than or equal to 7. First, we would make our and or or statement. And if you remember that symbol, that's an and. So we can make a conjunction from two lessons ago. So negative 7 is less than or equal to. And again, when we make our conjunction, that lets us not use absolute value anymore. So we have these two um, boundaries. Now we're going to add 2 to both sides sorry, all three sides, I'm so used to saying both sides. Um, now we're going to divide both sides by 3, so we get negative 5 thirds, less than or equal to k, less than or equal to 3. Um, graphing that, we have our boundaries of negative 5 thirds, that's about, what, negative 1 and 2 thirds, we have a 3 over here, zero somewhere and so we have a closed circle because that's a less than or equal to going this direction we have a closed circle at three going this direction and it's the intersection of those it's the and statement the conjunction and as you can see it's pretty simple the basics are uh, you Make, get that absolute value symbol by itself, then set up your boundaries. Um, I'll show you what I mean by by itself in this next example. Because you get could get something 
a little more um, a little more exciting, like number sixteen on page four eighty eight. Sixteen, page four eighty eight. Um, and it looks like two. Then times the absolute value of three k minus seven. Then plus eleven. And that equals 19. Okay. So before you set up your 19, negative 19 boundaries, you need to get the absolute value symbol by itself. Okay. So first we're going to subtract 11 from both sides. And we get 8 over on the right. Now we're going to divide both sides by 2. Still not touching this absolute value. Area. Now that we're back to this absolute value equaling um, 4, now we can set up our boundaries or our and or or statement. So we have 3k minus 7. That could have equaled 4. Or it could have equaled negative 4 before the absolute value symbol got a hold of it. And from here, it's pretty standard. Um, add 7 to both sides. Divide both sides by 3. Right statement, add 7 to both sides, giving us, looks like 3, divide both sides by 3, and again, we're graphing these, so, let's see, we got a 0 somewhere, we got 1, 11 thirds, was that 3 and 2 thirds, so somewhere over here, or if you wanted, you could just put a 3 and then Make a dot a little above it, and they're equal, so we're going to make a full dot here. That is the graph of the answer. Um, so as you can see, using the initial uh, technique I showed you, this is a very simple um, section. You're just isolating the absolute value, uh, making your and or or statement, and then um, solving from there. Um, and again, this would work the same exact way if it had an inequality symbol. So let's try one of those. For instance, if we had 5h minus 2, uh, so if we had 5h minus 2, inequality uh, greater than or equal to 8. Remember, if it's greater than, this is an or statement. So we can say 5h minus 2. That could have definitely been greater than 8. Or 5h minus 2 could have been less than or equal to negative 8. And then we just solve. So adding 2 to both sides. Dividing both sides by 5. Graphing it, uh, we have a boundary of 2, we have a boundary of negative 1 and 1 fifth, so if that's 0, negative 1 and 1 fifth, somewhere, and the graph of that would be h is greater than or equal to 2, so that's a closed circle shading greater than, and h is less than or equal to negative 6 fifths, so uh, closed circle and less than negative six fifths. And there you have the answer. Real similar to the previous assignment. Um, if you want to take a look at how they use the distance technique, um, you can do that. Uh, it looks a little more clear in maybe, I don't know, maybe example two in the book, page 487. But again, if you're using the distance technique, you're really looking to end up with the variable by itself um, subtracted from a number. Okay, so uh, let me see if I can find one like that. So if we had 4y minus 12 is greater than 16, if you're using the distance technique, 
uh, you need to get rid of that multiplication by 4. So in this case, you have to factor. This makes it a little more complicated. Uh, we end up with y minus 3 uh, greater than 16. Then we can divide both sides by 4. Um, so we get y. I don't know why I'm keeping that parentheses. Once that 4 is gone, we don't need it. Um, now we have that distance thing. So y, the difference between y and 3, so 3 being uh, where we start, the distance between y and 3 is greater than 4. So 4 away from that would be 7. Uh, on this side would be negative 1. And the distance has to be greater than that away. Um, so you can use the distance technique. Uh, I think the other way will make this a lot simpler. Uh, again, it's your choice. Your problems for today or tonight will be number five, and that is 2a minus 1 equals 9, an absolute value. I also want you to do number 15. Um, well actually, let's switch that to 18, because I want you to do one that contains... A, uh, an inequality. Uh, 21 minus 4, then an absolute value of 2 minus 5w is greater than 13. All right, enjoy.